Hey everyone, it's me here tonight. I'm going to be doing some easy dip nail. I will be doing this on nail sickle sticks. Hi, thank you for joining in with me, Alina. Hi, how are you? This is the effect that I did earlier. It's an ombre effect with dip nail. I'll be using my two-in-one acrylic powder set from glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. These colors here are the ones that I'll be using today. I hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Make sure to use my code Mika T at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And let me pin the comment in. Alright, I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Hey, Skyla. Thanks for joining in with me tonight. Can you guys see good? Let me know. Okay. I hope the lighting is good for everyone. And uh, did some pretty good progress. These are some nails here that I did earlier with acrylic. Sorry about my sticks being kind of messy. I was working. Thank you for everyone t tuning in with me. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't really see in my setup, but it's acting up. Give me some thumbs up and let me know if you guys can see good, okay? It looks a little dim on my end, but I think it's just me. Hey, Bellish Nails. Hey, Brazil. How are you, honey? Thank you for joining in with me tonight. So here I have my five-step essential set for my dipping. This is my primer, my base, my activator, my top coat, and my brush saver. Tonight, I won't need my brush saver or my primer just because of display purposes and, and you know, I'm just doing nail art for the video. Human purposes would be a little bit different except for this three step here, two, three, and four. That's always the same, even on a human. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to start with crystal clear. I have my spoon. It comes with my crystal trays. I'll take this first clear tip here. And we are going to go over it with one layer of base coat, number two. Okay. 
going to dip my nail art stick into my clear. I'll take my spoon and just cover the top. This is only for nail art purposes. It would be completely different if I were to be doing a human nail. I would use my triangle tray. Now me, this is my home set, so I can dip in how I want. Hi, Slay Queen. Thank you for joining in with me tonight. Thank you. And so this is my first layer of clear. I haven't dusted off my excess powder yet, so it still looks a little frosty. I'll take my fluffy dome brush. You can also purchase this at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. Now I'm gonna take this brush and dust off my excess. Make sure you move your container away because you don't want the fall off, the contaminant to fall back into the container. It can ruin your clear. Okay, so that's step one. Two, I'm gonna go over this now with another layer of my base coat. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to get my first color that I want ready. So the first color I want to use, because I want to do an ombre effect, I'll be using Young Peach first. And I will go over this nail completely with a layer of the number two step base coat. You want it to be thin. You do not want it to be thick at all because of dip nail. You'll be able to see your flaws if you don't make your coats even as possible. Okay. Now I wanna take it into my young peach. I'm gonna dip it in at an angle. Let's see, can you guys see? And then I will take my spoon, I'll cover that section that didn't cover, and then I will pull it out of my powder, knock off the excess. That's my first layer. I'm gonna take my same fluffy dome brush Hey to everyone joining in with me. Thank you guys for tuning in with me tonight. Doing a dip nail with some nail art. I'm gonna move the container to the side. I'm going to brush my excess off again. Now for your preference, you can go over it with another layer of this color if you would like. So I'm actually going to try it out. This was the first one that I did earlier and it was just a first layer, just one layer, exactly like this one. OK, 
Okay. So I'll actually go over it with another layer of the Young Peach. You want it to be as thin as possible. Now, with this nail tip, I don't have to worry about building an apex because it's one already made in the tip. So there is a step process that helps to build your apex correctly on a human nail because everyone's finger is different. And then I'm going to pull it out, tap off that excess. I accidentally bumped it. I didn't brush off my excess on the nail yet, but I will. I just tapped it off with my spoon. Sweep it on off. And usually it will bother me about this part here where I bumped it on the edge. You have to be very careful when you're doing this because it's still a little soft as you're dipping it into your powder. But now I will go over it again with my number two. I'm going to put a lid on my young peach. And then I'm going to grab my number 18, Young Purple. I'm going to open it up. And beautiful. It's like a very soft lilac color. So we're going to go, I'm going to brush over my nail again just a little bit more to make sure I have all as much excess as possible off because I don't want it to contaminate my powders, my different colors. I'm gonna go over this whole color again with number two. And now I'm going to take my fluffy dome brush. I'm going to dip it into my dip powder. I'm going to tap the bristles of my brush and gradually go towards the top. Tap the bristles. to give it more of a depth look, darker color, and tap closer towards the metal bridge of the brush for lesser fallout. Make sure you turn your nail as you go. I want to bring it up just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush, give it a tap to remove the excess. I, I did it over my colored powder because it won't contaminate anything and I'm doing on an actual nail display, not a human finger. 
So I will take one more time my base coat number two. Go over the complete nail one more time. And same process again with my brush. Most of my color is already concentrated onto the nail already because of the first layer. So this one, I'm just pretty much smoothing out some of my imperfections. And by the way, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves checking out our 90K follower sale this past two weeks. I hope you guys tune in every night to glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com, except for Sunday. Tune in and check out the tutorials. Beautiful, awesome work from Miss Nancy. Thank you for everyone joining in with me tonight. I'm sorry I can't really see any comments at the moment. Okay. I am happy with this. So I'm going to shake out the fallout from my brush because I'll be using it to dust off my layer of clear that I'm going to use to go over this. So I'm gonna move this, my young purple, out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to go over this again with a layer of clear this is my last step of colors. Thank you for everyone tuning in with me tonight. Thank you. I'm so sorry if I can't see. I can't see your comments, so I can't reply immediately, but I will in a second. I'm going to go over this with a layer of my number two. I'm going to cap this now. I'm going to use my spoon. And I'm going to completely cover this nail with clear, our crystal clear. You know, like if you were doing an actual finger, you would have to rotate the nail side to side to make sure you're getting an even coverage. It's better to use this. Use my spoon, tap it. Okay. This is it so far. I'm going to put a cap on my clear container. And I'm gonna take my brush and brush off the excess from this, from this cap of clear. And now I will, let's see, I will go over this with the activator, step three, after I've completely covered the nail. Hey to everyone joining in with me. Thank you for tuning in with me tonight, you guys. 
So I'm gonna go over this nail with activator. I wanna dry this all up. This is how the color looks after using the activator. And so next, I have my base top coat. Well, I'm sorry, move this. Not my base coat, but my top coat. Step number four. I'm gonna go over this now with two layers of this. Your dipping essentials are available on the website in a set at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. Make sure you use code Mika T in your order to save money off of your order. Now I want to make sure I get a really good layer of this because I'm going to be adding another coat of this onto the nail. That is the first one. what you guys think so far hey all right so I let it dry for a second and I'm gonna add another coat now And I'll wait for it to dry. And this is the the top coat, the shiny, all that. It will dry completely like that. This one I already created earlier. And actually, this one that I created earlier, I used a different color with this one. I like the young peach better. I love that color. I'll pull it out for you guys so you guys can actually see it. I think it's a purple nude. That's what I used for this nail. Purple Nude and Young Purple. And for this one, I did Young Peach with Young Purple. I really, really like these two together. Thank you for joining in with me, you guys. And so I will let this one dry for a little while. I was thinking about adding some transfer foil and some butterfly stickers onto this one and i'll show you guys 
the ones I did earlier in acrylic. I did these ones. And I used number 10, neon green. and young peach. And the glitter that I used, I got at class, at Glitz Accessories and such. It's this one here. It is so pretty, so pretty. Look, I'll open it up. It's gorgeous. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay. And now there's this one, right? So I'm letting this dry. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I'm letting this one dry. While I top coat this one that I did earlier. I hope you guys having a great night tonight. I'm getting ready to start cooking dinner. Gotta run to the store before it closes. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. It's my neighbors. They're out walking their dogs. Hey to everyone joining in with me. Hey, Benny. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm so sorry. I can't see you guys' comments. I'll have that taken care of soon, though. So I'll be adding this one into the dryer to cure. For 60 seconds and I did this one also earlier and I'll also top coat this one too <laughs> sorry about my nail stick guys it's kind of I love doing these glass nails. Okay. There's this one. Hey to everyone. Hey y'all, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. I'll cure those two. And so we'll get back to this dip nail here. So it's dry. Can you guys see? So it's dry, you guys. And now it's ready for nail art. It's a pretty cool ombre. Very quick, easy, not too hard on the hands. And it was fun. I've pretty much been playing with this all day today. 
So now I'm thinking about adding some transfer foil and a couple crystals, make it something simple, not too difficult, you know. Things ain't got to be too difficult. We already got enough going on as it is. You know. This is the one from earlier. No, actually, I'm sorry guys. This is the one we just did. That's this one here. This is the one from earlier. And these two are the ones that I just cured from the dryer. Sorry about these gloves, guys. I'm gonna give me some nails on so it can look a lot more prettier. Hope everyone's had a great weekend this weekend. And I used the neon green for those nails. So the foil that I was thinking about using was out of box number 30. And I'm leaning towards this one, but I can't decide because I really, really like this one too, like a lot. So I think I might do this one because it's a little more softer but it'll match. This is it. Did you guys get you some good stuff from the sale this weekend? I'm telling you it was an amazing sale, y'all. But don't worry, you can still check out the website and still get an amazing deal using my code. You can get 15% off most products right now. I'm telling y'all, check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Just playing. Move some of this mess out the way. Just so I don't get all this powder on my pretty top coat and my condensed glue gel. We want to put some nail art on these nails here. What y'all think? Send me some hearts. Some hearts. Let me know you like it. So I'm going to take a file. And I'm going to... Clean the sides. I'm just bumping everything around her. Sorry about that. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even see it. I can't see the comments because I'm so busy working. Okay, so I'm going to take this and always keep your file flat. Flat. Now, of course, on a human nail, I would do this step before I do my top coat, my last step. But this is just for nail art display usage. But the steps are very similar. Just trying to make sure I hold it in an angle for y'all so you can see. I'm going to get a napkin and clean some of this dust. 
Hi, Kiana. Thank you for joining in with me tonight. Smoked Out Nails, what's up? Thank you for joining in. Hey, Artiste by Essence. Hi, Leno. Hi, Aubrey. How you doing, girl? Creative Artistry Scotland. Hello. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Natalie V21, thank you for joining in. Miss Tracy, hey, how you doing? Thank you guys for tuning in and watching me tonight. I hope you all had a blessed day. Great week, weekend. Whatever it is you were doing, working, enjoying yourself. I hope you guys had a blessed, blessed day. So I'm going to clean this tip up a little bit more. I just used a napkin just to wipe off my nail. And use it one more time. To clean that off. As you guys can see, it didn't lose its shine. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm gonna go find some, well, let's see. The stickers actually are right here. I thought I set them somewhere else. I'm gonna pick a few butterfly stickers off of here. Kinda like the ones that are more of in like these colors. But well we about to we about to see about that one. We about to see. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this with a layer of my premium no wipe. Not premium no wipe, but my premium transfer foil gel. Blah. Sorry guys. <laughs> Got tongue twisted there. I'm gonna go over this with a nice thick coat. And then I wanna pop this into my dryer for 30 seconds. All right. Make sure I covered my surface really good. Pop this in the dryer. And this is the first one that I did. On this one, I'm just gonna do some really like pretty crystal placement on this one. So I will go over it with a layer of my No Wipe Top Coat. I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds because I want to add my condensed glue gel. And I just wanna make sure all of my surfaces are adhering really good and have that really like really pretty shine even after the dry. Condense, I meant no wipe, sorry guys. I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. I did this for 30. And I'm going to place my transfer foil onto this. This is the transfer foil I'm going to use. And let's see. It's from box number 30. I think I want to place it like this way. Find a good move this a little closer. I want to make sure you guys can see really good. Okay, and 
then I'm gonna get my handy dandy dual tip tweezers. I'm going to place my foil down using the rubber end. I wanted to leave open space in the design because I'm thinking about adding crystals. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking about it. I use my finger a little just to give it some extra pressure because it's a plastic tip and I don't want to break it. <laughs> okay. I always like to rub along the edges to seal my print off as much as possible. my tweezers to the side because they are really sharp you guys have to be careful when you're using your tweezers hey Burke and Billy thank you for joining in with me hey Shay hey guys thanks for tuning in with me so I'm gonna go ahead and lift my foil And this is the outlook of that one. I'm going to go over this nail with a layer of no wipe top coat. Well, let's see. I do want to put a butterfly on this one. Before I do my layer of no wipe. No, from my you know, purposes on how I like to do it, I would do a really thin layer just to protect my transfer foil print. Now, of course, this is gorgeous by itself. I don't think you really have to even add butterfly stickers on it, but I like to be a little extra sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Go over to this with this. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. This is the nail that I did earlier. And I use purple nude and young purple on this one. And I'm thinking I could do some simple, let's see, some simple, but I could, I could do a butterfly and some crystal placement. It'd be cute. It wouldn't do too, too much. You know, I didn't want to take away from the complete design of everything but uh, I think I will do that this is a nail that I did in acrylic earlier make sure you guys can see I did this one and I used this glitter I got it from class at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. Hey, if you guys can, make sure you try to sign up for our classes that we're giving. Glitz Accessories and teach you so many tips and tricks. It's going to turn your nail game into just the bomb, okay? The bomb. 
this is my acrylic and I did a clear glass nail of course it's one of my favorite type of nails to do I really love our crystal clear because there's no white bubbles in it like and that glitter is awesome And we cured this nail for 60 seconds. This is what we did with a dip nail ombre. Mm -hmm. Transfer foil placement. Yes. And I used Young Peach for this nail and Young Purple. I used Purple Nude and young purple. So there's a slight difference in the nude color. I used two different ones. Hey Pandora, thanks for joining in with me tonight. How are you guys? Okay, I'm gonna do a couple butterflies and I'll do some crystal placement. I think these are like so pretty. This one is so awesome right here. Can you guys see? This one right here is like so pretty this one right here is so pretty too and this one right here is so pretty too see the struggle is real okay it's so hard to choose i will just sticker 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 my life away i might put a couple stickers on the kids foreheads you know just sticker everything it's pretty it's so pretty oh gosh okay snap out of it let's get back to work I'm going to use this one. We're going to do this one. Okay. I'm going to pick up the sticker first. Okay, I'm gonna add it like right here. Use the end rubber tip part of my handy dandy dual twip tweezers. Uh huh. Yeah, I got a nickname for mine. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That's that one. Mm hmm Looks very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. So I'm going to leave it alone. Like I said, I'm going to add crystal placement onto this one. And I'm going to put a butterfly onto this one. Because I'm just feeling in the mood for the butterflies. And I really like this one. It's just really catching my eye a whole lot. So I'm going to pick this one also. Thank you to everyone tuning in and watching me tonight. Uh-oh, accident. Thank y'all so much. So we got another one over here. Go ahead and use this one. Here we go. I'll do this one over here in this section. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna use this lighter one towards the bottom I want to use a small one so but I, I still I think this one will go like really good so I'm gonna use this one There we go. I'm gonna add this one right up here at the top. Okay. And so I'm done with the stickers. Well, I think this one is like really pretty. I'm thinking to add this one on there too, but it might be a little too big. And I'm not gonna like overdo it. So, okay, so I'll wait on the stickers then. I'll wait on them. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys like my creations. So I'm gonna go over both of these nails with a small bead of condensed glue gel. I'm just bumping everything. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm gonna add a small bead of this. Hey, the pink elephant. Thank you for joining in with me. And these are it. I'm gonna go over these with a small bead of condensed glue gel. Because I really like to end cap my stickers. And this is the same step that I would do on a human nail also. Because it would save them from, um, you know, if they scratch their nail and they scratch through the layer of top coat they have a stronger layer of condense to protect and seal it. Okay. Here is my twin tip brush. I'm going to use my thick band. Sorry about that little hair. I had to clean it. small bead for this one now these layers that I'm using I'm making sure that they are thin and even because you do not want them to be all bulky and you know if that happens, it's okay. Just start over and do it again. I'm going to flow a thin layer of no wipe over this before I cure. I am encapsulating my stickers. And if I wanted to add glitter, this would be the same exact way I would do it. Float, float a very nice thin layer. Okay, and so I have, I think I'm gonna leave that one. I think I want to. And I got, I'm going to add some crystals. <laughs> Gave it some more extra shine. So I have some placed in my tray here. Hey, Pandora Muse. Thank you for joining in with me. So I'm going to do crystal placement on this one. Just something easy, really quick. 
Here's my crystal picker. And so this one, I'm going to make this one a little more easier. Because I don't want to completely take all the way away from the design. to flip that little piece over so I'll take my tweezers and I'll just flip my gold piece over there we go make sure you guys can see Okay, and then I'm going to very simple. <clears throat> I'm going to add this into my dryer. Thank you for everyone tuning in with me tonight. I really appreciate it, you guys. You guys see anything here, check out the website. You use my code Mika T. Save 15% off most products. I'm going to put this in my dryer and cure it. Well, actually, I'll sit it in my dryer because I'll get ready to cure it. I'll cure both of them together. So it'll make it easier for us to have a final look on the nail. And then I will be taking a small bead of my condensed glue gel over this one. He's okay. He's okay. He can stay. Use a small bead here just to give a nice encapsulated layer over my stickers. And I will use this frame here. Sorry guys, I don't know if I was out of frame. I apologize about that. I was looking around for one of my other trays and to see if I could find like I really really like these different spear pieces these packs are available at glissaccessoriesandsuch.com I really really like these a whole lot they bring out my frames so much more Hey everyone joining in with me thank you 
Thank you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this one into my dryer and I'm gonna cure this one. This is the first one that we did. Hey, Nancy, how you doing? Hey, Corey, thanks for joining in with me tonight. How y'all doing tonight? So this is the first nail that I did. And I did this one doing dip nail. The colors that I used was Young Peach and Young Purple. I did an ombre effect. I also used this transfer foil. It's from box 30. Box number 30. This beautiful foil here. And some crystal placement and frames that I have with butterfly stickers. And it'll be this set here. I did this one. And for our second nail, this is also a dip nail also. For this one, I used Purple Nude and Young Purple. And I also did an ombre effect on this one too. With butterfly stickers and crystal placement. And I used from the same um, butterfly sticker. That I used I believe it's Neo 12 I think sorry guys Let's see and I showed acrylic now that I did earlier I used young peach and neon green with this glitter that I got from class at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. Make sure you guys check out the website. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this sale we had the past two weeks. It was amazing. Whew. Just stay tuned. There's so many more things in store, so many more products, so much more stuff. So don't worry. Just stay tuned. Make sure you turn on your notifications. You follow us on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and every social media forum you possibly can find us on. www.glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com You heard? But here you go. Here's the two nails that I did. Tonight. Tonight's dip nails. I hope you guys love them. And don't worry, if you missed it, just hit replay. I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. Trust me. Don't worry. Make sure you turn on your, your notifications so you guys know when I pop on. I hope you guys really loved my nail art tonight. I had fun with you guys. I will be seeing you guys again for sure, most definitely. I'm really happy being with Glitz for a year, celebrating it, having my enjoying myself, becoming a brand ambassador. I worked really, really hard, you guys. I worked hard all year. But it's a blessing to see my goals come full circle. 
and to have an awesome mentor and teacher and boss, co-worker, all that. Miss Nancy, you're amazing. You're a blessing to me. I appreciate you. Everything you teach me, everything you show me, everything you tell me. I appreciate you so much. To all my nail besties that tune in with me, follow me. Appreciate my work. Hit the like button. I appreciate you guys so much 10 times over. And I hope the Lord blesses you guys and keeps all of you guys safe. I hope y'all have a blessed night. I'll see you guys on the bright side. Take care.